The TRM system was developed by Savannah River Nuclear Solutions and Savannah River National Laboratory to safely and efficiently receive and transfer high enriched urinal nitrate liquid, or HEUNL, from Canada's Chalk River Nuclear Laboratory. Savannah River Sites H Canyon will blend down and repurpose the material into commercial fuel for the Tennessee Valley Authority's commercial nuclear power plants. The liquid HEUNL arrives on 40 foot flatbed trailers nested inside a 65,000 pound ISO that contains a NAC LWT Type B UF package certified by the NRC. A straddle carrier lifts the ISO from the trailer, allowing the trailer to exit the area. An airport load mover, also known as a tug, is then docked to the ISO. Next, a forklift removes the ISO container lid. The door to the airlock is raised and the tug pushes it inside. The tug is moved back outside, so there's room to swing open the doors at both ends of the ISO. Once inside, the outer airlock door is closed and the two ISO doors at each end of the cask are swung open to reveal the legal weight truck, or LWT cask. The honeycombed impact limiter is then removed. Designed to help protect the cask contents in the event of an accident during transit, the aluminum-wrapped impact limiter covers the cask lid where content is loaded and unloaded. The outer airlock door is reopened and the tug enters. The outer airlock door is closed and the inner airlock door is opened. And the tug then pushes the ISO and LWT cask into truck well processing area. The first step inside the truck well processing area is to remove the lid from the LWT cask using a custom counterweighted tool. Next, the adapter plate is installed flush to the end of the cask, which shields workers from dose and doubles as an alignment tool. In effect, the adapter plate becomes the reference point guaranteeing other components of the system fit precisely and the containers inside align with the system used to remove the containers. The Container Retrieval System, or CRS, is then pushed into position and bolted to the adapter plate. The PIG, which is a lead shielding device that protects workers from dose, is then lowered onto the CRS. The two doors on the PIG and the adapter plate door are opened. A computer-controlled gripper then passes through the PIG and enters the cask to retrieve a container. The gripper releases the container inside the PIG and exits back into the CRS. After the doors on the PIG and the adapter plate door are closed, the PIG is hoisted to the Container Unloading Station, or CUS. After all containers have been processed, four empty flushed and decontaminated containers are reloaded into the LWT using a half PIG and the gripper for shipment back to Canada. Every automated extraction and insertion requires operator verification. The menu-driven touchscreen tablet application, also developed at SRNL, utilizes precision sensors, position indicators, and smart motors. Manual override is also available to operators just in case. Back at the CUS, a container lid removal shield is hoisted into place, giving access to six bolts and removal of the container cap. The cap is set aside and the quick connect shield is hoisted in. A slot in the shield permits the installation of the vent and the pump out quick connect ports. The ports allow the operator to safely flush and rinse the container remotely away from the dose area. Using the tablet, the operator fills the flush tank to 20 gallons. The liquid HEUNL inside the container is then pumped out. Flush 1 is then activated, and 4 gallons of flush solution enter the container effectively rinsing 99.99% .99 of the material from the container. A second full volume flush of slightly acidic nitric solution is then performed and pumped to receipt tank 88 in H Canyon for further processing.
The evacuated container is then lifted from the pig at the CUS, deconned, and moved to a storage bin, ready for loading into the LWT cask during the next return shipment to Canada. The pig is also removed from the CUS and staged with the other empty pigs. It takes approximately a week to process a complete shipment. The TRM program is expected to be a multi-year campaign.